All right. Uh, back to the watermelon game. This, this is my watermelon <laughs> Well, this is name. a watermelon game, of course. All right, well, anyway. Yeah, so this is the nightmare zone. This is when you have to fight. Oh, I should probably buy a lot of first aid spray. I will need it. Uh, see, like, I don't know. I just, I like the idea that this game should just remain hard, like hard as hell, because mm -hmm. the uh, the first aid sprays at 5k, I think, are just a little broken. I guess you can't buy more than two at a time, but uh -oh. that's still not good enough <laughs> for me. Um, I should probably eat one, and then I'll just do this. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Do something. There we go. I did it. She didn't heal her, too? Nah, she can die in a fire. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's good. All right, give me that. Oh, no, I said give it to me. Yeah, do you want to buy it? Yes, please. No, I don't know about you. Really well. I want it, please. <laughs> please, All right. can I have some So more? this is the extraction point, and then you find out that it got shot down. The helicopter got shot down. Rude. By a, by a, a rocket launcher man. So, uh... uh so they're, they're like, all these guys are like, Ah, yes... These guys are like, ah, oh, yes. And the merchant guy's like, I disappeared. The yeah, merchant guy's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I got a lot of things on sale. Like, he's like advertising to them. <laughs> I got a lot of things on sale. Like, eh. Or maybe he's pretending to be homeless, so they ignore him. Mm, <laughs> That's that pretty terrible man. to say. <gasps> it's the guy. It's Psychic Man. It is Psychic Man. So he's like, yeah. Uh, like I was just doing cocaine here. And he also has the same pistol as me. And also, he's like, I didn't know that the president equipped his daughter with explosives, and he's talking about her boobies. That's sexist. Yeah. But he's like, oh, I don't really care about you. And then we're going to skip this cutscene. So, basically... Oh, now we're playing Nazi Zombies. Yeah, now we're playing Call of Duty Nazi Zombies Extraordinary. Oh, fi double, finally we're playing the good game. <laughs> double EXP weekend. Only if you bought a can of Mountain Dew between today and tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the the sign-in time is at 1 p.m. to 1.22 p.m. And, uh, enjoy your stay. Okay. Okay. So, this is, again, another very grueling part of the game that everyone loved <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> because this game because is you awful. Can push him, probably because you can just push him around. You can get him to kill you, actually. If you shoot him enough, the, a small cutscene shows up and he's like, Alright, time to die, Leon. And he shoots Leon twice in the chest and then Leon dies. Huh. I think this game still to this day has the most unique death animations for a character. Hmm. Neat. Which is pretty impressive. Because there's like over a hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good amount. Leon dies a lot. Yeah. It's alright. So basically there's a time limit on this... Oh god. There's a time limit on this cabin. And... Mm -hmm. What you want to do is survive the time limit. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Um, and basically, it just gets really hard, because eventually they start breaking into the top of ladders and stuff. Oh, boy. And, uh, you know, a lot of shooting. But, Leon, see, this is the example of a very good AI, because he actually helps you, and, like, you know, he's invincible, which is also always a plus. And yeah. When, and when someone, like, when someone, like, catches you in something, he will shoot them away, mm. like, while they're holding you, which is awesome. And then... He uh he gives you ammo when oh. you need it. So why doesn't Lewis just help me? No no. Uh, oh there we go. I'm just gotta kick his head off. Don't be stupid to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that Leon is almost at maximum health, and now that I've just taken a hit. <laughs> oh hello friends. Oh no. There's so many friends. <laughs> what am I going There's to so do with many my friends? Things? We did not buy enough soda for all these guys, Chris. He actually has a line sometimes, he said, Lewis, he's like, he's like, I told you no more than 50 people. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, see? Look how good he is. Oh, God. If you're wondering where Ashley is, she's in the closet. It's actually one thing I wondered for a very long time. Because oh. I was like, where is she? I mean, that's a pretty good space to hide, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it is. But, like, I was just, like, always under the impression, I was like, you know, they never tell you where she hides. Yeah, yeah. But it's, so it's like, where did she go? And I think this is an opportune time. To grenade. Yeah. Good thing you're invincible to flashes. Well, I close my eyes. I mean, anyone who's smart enough to throw a flash grenade is smart enough to close their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, Leon. No, he, oh. he only has the ability to kick people's heads off. 
I mean, it's true. I mean, that's what he does. Uh, I've seen. So it. he's just, eh, that's his defense against zombies. Why Push, you have Lord pushing of the, the ladders down. See you later. And that's it. Did you ever play Lord of the Rings video game? No. Did it? Did it? Did Adam ever tell you about his his uh his escapade with that one though? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. it's probably one of my favorite gaming stories. So like, he was telling me he was playing it one day with his friend. I don't remember who it was. And there was a part where like they have to talk to a giant crow, and Adam knows what happens next. Like the crow like talks to them, yeah, or something, right? Is that a thing in the game, in like the movies or whatever? By the way, it's a, it's an eagle, but yeah. Okay, whatever. So it's a giant eagle. So like, uh, they go do this huge epic quest, right, to go do whatever, and then they have to go talk to this eagle, and then the cutscene doesn't play correctly. And so the eagle just has his mouth wide open and doesn't say anything. And then the game, like, you know, it's not frozen, but you can't do anything. So yeah. it's just, so just ah <laughs> the entire time. Um, oh, I wish he, like, had, had a way to record it or something. It has to be, like, a pretty famous glitch or something. Yeah, well, if it happens very rarely, then maybe not. I love it. Um... Well, no, I played that um, game with my friend. It's a, first of all, it's a very easy game. It's one of those games where you just hit um, a the action button a lot, and you pretty much beat it. Okay. That said, it's actually still pretty fun. Right. It's just, a, it's just a very simple game. You know, you just you just mess around. Yeah. And, like, after a certain point, your characters become overpowered, and it's really fun to just take out tons of <laughs> just people. And just, oh, especially, like, the, the one for the third movie. Because there's actually uh, there's two games. Uh-huh. So there's one for the two ta- for the Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers, the first two movies. Yeah. And the next one is for just the Return of the King. Okay. Um, but yeah, in the Return of the King one, you can play as Gandalf. And wait, you, you probably haven't seen Lord of the Rings, right? I have definitely not. Okay. But I know he's like overpowered as fuck. Yeah, so you get to play as him, and eventually you get this move where you just put your staff above the air, and then you literally just put a bubble around you. Uh. And like at level one... It's just like it's just a shield for a little bit. Yeah. Like okay, that's that's fair, you know. Yeah. Um, but then eventually you can upgrade it so that way, it whenever someone it just like irradiates electricity, <laughs> so you literally just like put it up and just run up to people and just zap them. <laughs> um, oh, I and died. it's really funny when you get to like some like the bigger bosses because there's like um cave trolls which are, like very giant. So now you're virtually invincible with this. So you can just run up to them, just, just rubbing against their leg, <laughs> and um, they're just getting shocked to death, <laughs> and they can't do anything about it. And like, it's really silly. Like, Legolas, the archer, you know, gets like just insane arrows. Uh-huh. They're just like, there's one thing that lets you shoot like three hours at a time, and they all pretty much one shot like the like an enemy, barring like. Um, like cave trolls or like big things like that. So you just you just stand there, just <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, it's just like the movie. But yeah, it's it's I don't know. That's what maybe we'll play it sometime because it's really easy yeah. and it's co op. Oh, nice. Um, and it's a game we could just, you know we could just like very easily talk over it. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a funny game. It's very ridiculous. Um, yeah. I do have one more last story before we go. Uh, so that, that same thing happened to me pretty much with like the. Uh, you know, with the whole game, like, freezing but not freezing thing. Yeah. But it was Red Dead Redemption, okay. and it was me skinning a elk I had killed, or whatever it was, like a deer. Okay. But, like, you know, John Marston, or whatever his name is, is just skinning this deer forever, and, like, yeah. I can't get out of it. <laughs> so, like, literally, it's just him just, like, like the gross like skinning noises and like it went like and like the the, tr- the day and night transition didn't go away so it was just skinning you for like the whole day just man I fucking love this <laughs> this thing has a lot of skin <laughs> it just keeps coming right back I, thought, I was like maybe it'll go away and then I waited for like an hour and it's just, there's no way this is that oh man alright well that was fun and I will probably kill this guy man cabin next time Kill the cabin. Yep. Do it. Kill a kill the cabin. Kill the cabin. Hot, hottest new anime. All right. Kill the cabin. Yeah. Kill yes. The cabin. That's what you got. Cabin in the woods. Great movie. Watch it. No.